Okay, so um, what I find a lot of students struggle with um, is in mathematics especially is financial maths and trigonometry, especially if their foundations of algebra um, are not the greatest, right? So do you find that to be the case um, when, when you're doing a lot of the topics? Mm, definitely, definitely. Okay, great. So look, I know that I sent over um, an algebraic fractions equation sheet. So that's what we're going to be focusing mm. on um, in today's lesson. Um, and I know that you were fine up until question five and then in question six, you started to struggle a little bit. Is that is that right? Okay, yeah. so let's move into the whiteboard. Um, mm -hmm. and could you just read it out to me? Um, so question six is 15 over 2x minus 1 equals 3. Okay, perfect. So um, what did you struggle with in this? Um, I know I have the x by itself, but I don't know how to do that when x is on the denominator, not on the numerator. Okay. All right, so look, that is, it, it is a bit tricky, but what you have to understand is that 2x minus 1 is an entire component, right? So just treat it as if it's one number. So if it is one number, usually what would you do? Um, I would move it to the other side. Okay, great. So you move this entire component over to the other side. And what's the opposite of dividing by? Times. Right. So you now have to times it by 2x minus 1, right? So mm -hmm. the next line should read what? How about you let me know? 15 equals 3 bracket 2x minus 1. Okay, great. So now what can you do? Um, expanding on the brackets? Yeah. So how about you go ahead and do that on the whiteboard? Okay. So it'd be 3 times 2x, which would be 6x, mm -hmm. and then 3 times minus 1, which would be minus 3. Good. Perfect. All right. And what do we do next? Um, I would move the 3x to the other side. Yeah. Good. Um, through addition? Yeah, because you're minusing here. Good. Mm -hmm. So 15 plus 3 would equal 18 equals 6x. Great. And then I want to get the x by itself, so move the 6 over by um, dividing. Good. So how about you write the answer up here next to the lines up here? Mm -hmm. So x would equal um, 3. Yeah. OK, good. So, um, see, components like this could come up in financial maths a lot, which is why you need to be so grounded and so comfortable with just being able to move around equations, yeah? So mm -hmm. that's what we're going to work on for the rest of the, um, the rest of the sheet as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, hopefully you found that helpful and mm. good work.